this is uh, this is fun. Here's what happened. Uh, you and I just got done uh, helping out somebody. The the thing is, is if you have a relationship uh, with Tanzu with the Spring Team, you get to like raise your hand and say like I'm stuck, uh, and it could be on on anything. And yeah, this morning Eric reached out and he said, Hey, we have somebody that's trying to do this upgrade, and if you know me, you understand uh, I want you to be on the latest and greatest version not n minus two not n minus one I want you to be on n minus zero on the latest greatest so I get pulled into these conversations and sometimes I have a cheat code that works really easily and sometimes I don't uh, so Eric we just got done uh, and of course as soon as we're done with the call then I'm like oh I, I figured it out we struggled a little bit yep when's the last time you deployed JSPs to production oh gosh 20 years ago yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. 20. That, that might be about right. It might be mm -hmm. that long since I took JSPs to production. Um, but like, it, here's the thing. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's a technology. It, it works. And that's the benefit of doing Java is like these things that we took to production, uh, even back in the nineties, mm -hmm. they still work. The JVM is amazing. We didn't have to like redo everything. Uh, we, patch some things, we keep it on the latest and greatest, and now we're getting all the benefit of the JVM. So here's here's what we did. We we figured out some, uh, the SSL bundle, uh, we cleaned up some dependencies on this project, and then we were trying to run it locally, and we realized like, hey, it's not pulling in the JSPs. Like everything else is working, we were authenticated, but it wasn't pulling in the JSPs, so we were like, oh, what, how do we do that? We forgot, it's been a while. So let's just do that, let's, let's, Let's just walk through that example of what we just struggled with a little bit, but now we have it figured out. So I'm here at start.spring.io. Uh, I'm going to use Maven because the, the example that we just got done was Maven. Uh, of course, I'm going to pick Java. And the latest is 3.2.4. Uh, we can use this same stuff, right? Uh, we'll call it um, JSP demo. And uh, I'm going to use Java 21. And on this side, the things that we need to do, web. I don't think we needed anything else, right? You know, switch packaging to war. Oh, yes, yes. That was now, the big one. This is the key. Why did we need to do that? Because the, and I believe it's the, the way that that jar specification is that we can't add that web inf. We can't point to those JSPs easily, right? That specification that we got way back when uh, says, hey, your JSP should be in web inf someplace. And your web app in that web inf folder, that's where your JSPs go. So we're going to follow that. And we can't do it as a jar. So we're going to click on this button. Good catch. Is this going to work? Is this all that we need? Uh, I'm going to add one thing because I always do. Uh, I'm going to add this actuator. And lately I've been adding the modulus, but we don't need to go that far. So we'll just leave it here. This is easy enough, right? So let's generate that project. Uh, we have a JSP demo. Let's, let's save it. Uh, and then let's jump over to this. Let's jump over uh, into my download directory. Can you see it? Is, that, is my screen big yep. enough? Yeah. Uh, let's bump it up. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's unzip that uh, JSP demo dot zip. Uh, and then let's go in there and we'll, we'll jump in. Whoops. Dash demo. There we go. Uh, we're going to jump in here. Easy enough. All right. So anybody can do this. This is cool. Uh, and I have the example that I was looking at. I had the example that I built over here. Uh, the first thing that we did uh, we should look at our palm. Uh, we see it's three, two, four. We three, see two. our packaging is uh, a war file. Uh, and nothing should happen here, right? We didn't, we haven't set up anything. Nothing should work. Uh, if I start it up, uh, I will get it. I'll get an endpoint. So just right here, mvnw spring boot run. Because I have the actuator, I will, I'm actually serving something. Uh, but I didn't have to do any code yet. Uh, but I should uh, here have localhost. 8080 actuator health fantastic got it so our container works things are good this is this is excellent we're, we're on a good path already so now where do we put our jsps <laughs> who remembers Funny the little thing called the web inf. yep who remembers the specification uh i i was just recently reminded source main we're gonna put it in here we're gonna make a new directory called web app uh and then inside and look at IntelliJ even knows, like it's got a little dot. It says, hey, I see what you're trying to do, uh, but we're going to make a new directory called web inf. And this is part of the specification that goes all the way back into the 90s. And we're going to make a new folder called JSP. Boom. And I have an example uh, over here that I'm going to copy and paste because JSP isn't a whole lot of fancy. 
Um, but yeah, let's do this new file. Uh, we're gonna hello.jsp done. So we have a JSP inside of this webinf JSP. Uh, when we're packaging it as a WAR file, that's a WAR file is just a zip file. Uh, but inside of that WAR file, the containers that we use know to look for special stuff inside of these webinf and metainf folders. If you're deploying to a middleware like WebLogic or WebSphere, uh, there are, yeah, there's some metadata that we can plug into our zip file. Uh, same with an ear file. We can say, hey, here's all my stuff. And you can kind of tell that middleware what's going on with your application. Uh, these JSPs, these get compiled into Java code. Yep. And then that Java code then generates HTML. Uh, and the way that we, we were thinking back in the 90s, the way that the uh, ecosystem was looking is like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna mix Java with with HTML, and it's yeah. weird because this pendulum swings, right? Uh, we were just on Spring Office Hours yesterday talking about HTMX and how we're we're moving things back to the back end, and uh, it's okay, right? One thing I've been saying a lot lately is the right choice it changes over time. That's it; it changes over time. And if I've got Java developers, they know this much HTML, then JSP might be a great approach. So, oh boy. Yeah, it was uh, the templating engine that served yes. its time. Simon says, you know, hell everybody, like no gluts, no glory. Like, oh, I see what you're saying. I should have used the 3.3 RC1. But yeah, we're good. Uh, but he says like, hey, yeah, I hope your children also won't deploy scriptlets to production. Like, I get it, right? My, my kids have some really strict rules. Uh, they'll never deploy active passive. Uh, they don't, they're not allowed to use Java 8, they are only, Java 8 doesn't exist in our house. Uh, so yeah, maybe this is a new one. We're not gonna de deploy JSPs, but we'll see. We'll see. So here we are, we have a JSP, but is this good enough? Is this good enough? Let's see. Let's see if we, uh, let's do a clean and let's say, hey, like we've added some stuff. Is this good enough? I think the answer is no. I don't think this is good enough. I think we have to do a little bit more work uh, to tell our application. It started, um, but where would that where would that live? Like we we didn't give it a route. Uh, we don't have anything that's telling it where to go. Where how do I get to that JSP? So let's do that. Let's add. Uh, I'm gonna just put it here. Oh look at this. Uh, so it did some things because I said I said hey I want to be a WAR file. It added some of the steps. Start.spring.io added some of the steps. I didn't have to do it here, uh, but I got that code. So let's just go ahead and let's use it. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna add a controller uh, and this is just me adding yeah code uh, I'm gonna put it here uh, let's put it at we can put it at at slash that's fine uh, but what we're saying here is when you go to the root of this application we're gonna return this this hello this hello <clears throat> is going to point to this file this hello.jsp. But in order to connect those dots, we have to add just a tiny little bit of configuration. And that's these two properties. Uh, over here, because we're using application.properties, we'll stick with application.properties. So we'll do spring.mbc.view.prefix. Look at, they're already sitting there. Prefix equals slash web inf jsp. Right? That's referencing. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to say spring suffix equals JSP. So I'm saying my pages over here, my page that I want to reference, it's going to live over here and that hello represents that hello.jsp because I said, hey, the prefix or the suffix is that JSP. So this is how I'm connecting the dots. Am I good enough yet? Uh -huh. This is my, my route. When I go to slash, what I'm expecting, when I go here, uh, I will get I will see this hello.jsp that's going to look something like this. Good. Let's, yep. let's run it. Let's see. Uh, because it might work. I don't think it's going to work. I think we need to do one more step. Uh, because we're doing JSPs, let's go check. Uh, it's not going to be at hello. It's going to be at the root. It doesn't quite work. It says, ah, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we needed one more step. And this is what we were kind of working through. And the other step that we needed is we needed to add Jasper. Ah, right. That was the other dependency that, hey, for some reason, it's not finding these JSPs. But when we added Jasper, it seemed to work. Good old and Tomcat. I think I can do this. Okay. Jasper. 
Let's go. It, you know what's cool here is it gave me Tomcat and it said it's provided uh, because I had Spring Boot Starter Web. Because I said, hey, I'm going to deploy this as a WAR file, it's making sure that these don't get packaged into my, my artifact. So now let's try it again. Clean Spring Boot run. Things should work. I expect this to work. Voila. We did it. We let's take it to production. Deploy it. It's ready. All it's ready. So for you, audience, when you're wanting to deploy JSPs into your Spring Boot app, ship it. That is exactly right. Ship it. Uh, and for all of you like this, I need to go over to uh, Twitch uh, and I want to give a shout out. Security Live is high quality content that you need to watch. Whoops. Let's do this. Security likes it. Shout. How do I do it again? I do bang so. Uh, I forget how to do the shout out. I got to log in. I'm not logged in on Twitch. Shout out to, to Security Live. Uh, awesome show. Tons of good ton content. Uh, he's doing amazing things. Uh, Eric, you'll want to check him out. All right. Twitch. I will. Um, so this is it. This is all we wanted to do. We wanted to record an example of what it looks like because if you're like us, you know, we're like Googling, like, how do I do this? And we found ourselves on Stack Overflow. We found ourselves on Bell Dog. Uh, and finally, our solution was, where do you expect? Where do you think it was? It was on the docs. It was on spring.io in the documentation. That's where we found it. But of course, because reasons, uh, we didn't get the solution until after we hung up the call. We said, hey, go ahead and open a ticket and we'll get back to it. But now we have the answer. Here it is. Here's how we load our JSPs inside of a, a new, a modern, a Spring Boot context yeah we can, go. we can still deploy jsps they still work let's take it to production yep how do you feel do you feel better yeah we, we spun our wheels a little bit yeah and that's okay yeah the nice thing is is i like having people like you eric uh, that have these answers for us and the other thing is uh our friend raised their hand right one of the things i want to encourage everybody if you're here listening and you've got technology that's old like JSP or older and you're you're raising your hand you're like oh I should be able to figure this out or oh I want to do these new things with it you can and if you can't figure it out if you've been spinning your wheels for a little bit just raise your hand there's help it's one of the reasons I love being a part of the spring ecosystem the spring communities because uh, there's always help Eric's here to help I'm here to help <laughs> and when I need help I I have Slack, I have others, uh, but we're just putting that out there. This is yep. fun. This is all that we wanted to do was do JSP. But if you're here and you're paying attention, I'm going to, I'm going to open it up for questions because I'm here with Eric. I always get tons of help from Eric. He keeps me honest and he gets to, he pulls me into fun conversations. So if you're here, you know what I say? If you come to my house for dinner and you leave hungry, that's your fault. So you're here. If you're watching, we're getting ready to wrap up, but if you've got questions, it's the middle of the day. You're trying to figure out, something that's going on you've got questions now is your time ask away and if not that's okay i hope you're enjoying the rest of your day and i hope whatever you're working on finds its way to production without bugs another thing that we learned today is deleted code has no bugs it's yep. okay you don't have to take all the dependencies to production like mm -hmm. make sure that your yeah your your packages have only the stuff that they need like don't bundle stuff in there that you don't need because that's another thing you got to take care of when you get to production. Yep, eliminate the cruft. So here we are. Uh, I don't see any questions coming in. Eric, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you thank for you to show bringing up. me into the conversation uh, with, <laughs> with our customer. And this is fun. Let's, yeah. let's keep going. All Sounds right? good. All right, so everybody else, uh, thanks for joining us for this quick one. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Good luck. Yep, we'll see you. thanks.